So today we're going to begin the study of lines. The next uh, few lessons are all going to fall under the study of lines. Uh, prior to this, we looked at the basic concepts of solid, surface, line, and point. So right now we are going to talk about a couple of different kinds of lines. I've brought out two shapes from the geometric cabinet. This first shape is a triangle. In fact, it's an equilateral triangle. And this shape is a curvilinear triangle. If you were to look at each shape, you can see that they are a little bit different. They do have some similarities, but there's also some differences here. If we were to look at the equilateral triangle, it is made up of three sides, and each side has a straight line. It's going in one direction only. This curvilinear triangle, well, it also has three sides. But look what happens to the directions of the lines. They change. So the curved line, the direction of the curved line changes. Now you've got to do a little bit of using your imagination with me. I have two balls of string here. I want you to pretend that these two balls of string are huge. They're ginormous. They're bigger than anything you've ever seen. These two balls of string could be the size of the room I'm in. They could be the size of the city I'm in. They could also be as big as the whole world. They're big. Now, if I were to start unwinding this giant, these two giant balls of string, and I were to hold them tight or taut, I've created, in essence, a straight line. You have to use your imagination and pretend that this represents a line. A line goes forever and ever in one in both directions. I'm sorry, this direction and this direction. It goes in both directions forever and ever. The straight line never changes direction. Now, if I were to release some tension, what do we see happening to our line? It's not straight anymore, is it? It's going in different directions. No matter how I move it, it's going in different directions. So a curved line constantly, continually changes directions. So we have our straight line. It can go in two different directions. Our curved line constantly changes directions. I'll go one step further and I'll draw them, and you can too. Using a ruler, I'm going to draw my straight line. And I'm going to put some arrows on the end, just to show you the direction that it goes. And I'll hold this up to the camera so you can see a little better. Okay, there's my straight line and you can see the directions that it goes. I don't need a ruler for this next line. This is my curved line. And I'll even put some arrowheads on here. Okay? You can see that the curved line is always changing direction. So, our straight line goes forever 
but can only go in two different directions. It never changes its direction. It always goes, well, let's call it left to right, east to west, north to south. Our curved line always changes directions. Thanks for watching. Next lesson will be about the parts of a line.